In today's video, I'm gonna tell you about one of my favorite road trips I've ever taken, how I'm gonna take it in an even bigger way, and how you can join me for the road trip. There is really not anything that gets my heart pumping more than a good old fashioned motorcycle road trip. Getting on the road, seeing the sights, the new experiences, it really is what motorcycling is about to me. People like different things in biking, don't get me wrong, some people love the fast twisties, they want to race, they want, but for me, it's experiencing the culture, it's traveling the distance, it's taking that grand adventure. One of the best motorcycle trips I've taken to date was a tour I took with some friends across the Baja of Mexico. And I think it was great because I love the diversity of the culture. The people were just so friendly and kind. Uh, the scenery was just unbelievable. The weather was great. All in all, I think it was one of the most shocking and unexpected trips of my motorcycle uh, resume, if you will. I just It just really took me aback. But I didn't make it all the way down. I only made it to Nero Negro. Nero Negro. I'm not real good at the Spanish names in Mexico, but uh, you know, right here on the map, this is as far down as I made it. Then we just banged across the coast and rode up the Sea of Cortez. But since leaving that trip last spring, I've wanted to go back and ride all the way down to Cabo. And I'm going to do it in a really awesome way. See, uh, adventure biking in uh, you know the dual sport world is something kind of new to me and something I've really been loving. And while I was riding Baja, I said, man, how cool would it be to do this trip on a dual sport bike? Whew. So this March 30th, I am uh, I'm going to do just that and I'm inviting you to come along with because I've teamed up with an amazing company and these people put together full tour trips, you know, where you got all your details worked out, your stops, the best routes, the best places to stop and look at like cool roadside attractions, things like that. These people do this every day. They take people on these adventures and I'm going to go along with them and they're opening up the list so you all can join with me. It's going to be my own private uh, ride down Baja from San Diego all the way to Cabo. So let me get you some details in case you happen to be one of the people who's going to ride with me. One, we'll be doing the whole trip together from start to finish. Two, if you happen to have a YouTube channel or a business or something like that you want me to promote, I'm going to throw it in my content because I'm going to be filming the whole way. So if you're with me, you're going to make it in my videos if you want. If you want to be excluded, I can certainly exclude you. Don't, don't be hung up on that. But if you want to get maybe your YouTube channel, we do a little collaboration on the trip, or if you've got a business or something you want to talk about a little bit in my videos, my content, my channel is going to be about my experience riding down with all of you. The dates. So you arrive in San Diego. Your last day will be the 7th, but you'll actually fly out of Cabo on the 8th. So let me explain how this works. You fly into San Diego. This company provides you with a motorcycle. All right. You ride down to Cabo. You fly home. They take care of getting the bike back. Pretty sweet deal. There's also a package if you want to bring your own bike, but of course then you're in charge of getting your bike back up from Cabo. So if you got the time, that might be a great option. If not, you can do like me, fly in, get on one of their bikes. I'll be riding a Tenere 700, which I've never ridden yet, and I'm super excited about riding. And then, you know, they've got all kinds of bikes you can choose from. So let's talk the bikes. You've got the base bike, which is the CB500X by Honda. You've got upgrades to Yamaha Tenere 700. You've got KTM 790 Adventure R, which is an amazing bike. I would love to ride that one as well. The Africa Twin. Now, I did a cross country on that bike. Absolutely loved it. KTM 1090 Adventure R and the KTM 1290 Super Adventure R. So they've got a big roster of motorcycles you can choose from for what's going to fit your best needs. Uh, the CB500X is a great little bike, especially if uh, maybe you're not as tall or you're maybe like me, not quite as experienced. And then of course up to the 1290 Super Adventure R if you are like the master adventure rider. The group size will be six to 10 bikes. Any bigger than that, it just gets too cumbersome and it's not quite as personable. And well, gas station stops get longer and everything gets longer. So six, six to 10 is gonna be kind of our limit for this trip. Mileage, the entire trip is gonna be a total of 12, 188 miles that's from San Diego all the way down and there will be one rest day in Laredo so in Laredo we'll have a rest day 
Uh, on rest day, we get to do things like whale watching, check out the local town, and other adventurous type stuff that you can do in that area. It's supposed to be a super cool town to chill for a day. Mileage per day is gonna range anywhere from 150 to 300 miles a day. Uh, so they're super doable days. The road and the terrain difficulty uh, is really up to you. So you're gonna be on pavement, dirt, gravel, and sand will be the road conditions. And if there's any of the more difficult areas you don't wanna ride, They've got uh, their guides with us that can take you on less difficult routes. So no matter your skill level, you should be comfortable through this entire ride. They assured me of that. And these people really seem to know what they're doing. So we'll stop at a lot of cool churches. They're going to stop at the Baja Concepcion and all kinds of different nice cultural touches on the tour. They, these people got the places to stop and check out nailed down. So you're going to see the best of the best without wasting any of your time fumbling around trying to search or look for the best. This is really an ideal way to take a trip, I believe. It'll be my first time doing a guided tour like this. I'm super excited about it because one thing I did notice when I rode Mexico last time is we did spend a lot of time trying to find where we wanted to go or find the spots or the, or the roadside attractions. This way, everything's laid out. You can focus on the riding. You can focus on our camaraderie and let the people that know what they're doing uh, do what's best. You're gonna be filled with the three T's of Mexico, tacos, tequila, and tecate. <laughs> it's going to be a good time. Lots of gorgeous beaches, cool little quaint towns, and Baja culture. Baja, I think, is probably the safest, from my experience, the safest part of Mexico. I never felt unsafe there at all, so I'm excited to go. I'm excited to check it out. I'm excited to meet and frankly ride on a long, epic road trip with a few of you. So if you want to join me on this trip, it's pretty simple. You just go over to www.rideadv.com. This is the Baja on down. You just put in the dates to ride with me on my trip and uh, you can get signed up. Pricing, I know you all wanna know pricing. The pricing is $4,950 and that's getting on their CB500X uh, for like an $80 upcharge, you can get on the Tenere 7 or, or $160, you can get on the KTM 790. You know, you can do different upcharges, you can check it out on their website. Like I said, go look at their website, sign up, take this epic ride with me. I'm excited to do it. I think it's gonna be a ton of fun. If you wanna bring your own bike, you do save some money. You can go on the trip for $35.50. So $3,550 if you bring your own bike, ride down with us, ride back on your own, or heck, even ride back with them. That's really it, y'all. This is something I'm super excited for. It is indeed one of my coolest trips I've ever done, and I didn't get to complete it. So this time, I'm gonna complete it from San Diego all the way to Cabo, and I'm gonna do it along with some of you. Like I said, the spots are limited, so go make your reservation now, and let's take an epic road trip together.